for the GOP race now. And Donald Trump up in both Iowa and New Hampshire in the latest polls. ABC's Tom Yamas tracking it all as we count down to the first votes. Good morning, Tom. George, it may sound strange, but it happened. Donald Trump stayed at a Holiday Inn in Iowa over the weekend. A very rare move for the front runner who usually jets into and out of states, but it shows he's committed in his own way. And with those new poll numbers, he's probably wishing voting started today. It's the final stretch to Iowa. It's crunch time, folks. I mean, we want to, I want to win Iowa. I want to really win it. And Donald Trump may be thinking he's unstoppable. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. But as Trump preached to his faithful over the weekend, a protester in a red turban interrupting him as he spoke about terrorism. Bye. Goodbye. Trump telling the crowd the man won't be getting one of those now famous Trump caps. He wasn't wearing one of those hats, was he? Was he wearing one of those hats? And he never will. New polls show in Iowa it's his race to lose. Wow! But Cruz issuing a war call to his supporters and warning voters of making a deal with Trump. If a Republican candidate has for over 60 years of his life embraced a Bernie Sanders-style socialized medicine for all. Is there any chance on earth that that candidate would actually repeal Obamacare? Conservative talk show host Glenn Beck, who endorsed Cruz on Saturday, pledging to go door to door as SNL had some fun with Trump's recent endorsement. I wanted to take a break from my full-time career of writing things on Facebook. <laughs> Tina Fey reprising her role as Sarah Palin on SNL. She's a firecracker. She's a real pistol. She's crazy, isn't she? <laughs> that was so good. Uh, and today, former Texas Governor Rick Perry, who twice tried seeking the Republican nomination, will endorse Senator Ted Cruz. Perry will be a campaign surrogate with a focus on veterans' issues and be out on the trail Tuesday and Wednesday. George, back okay, to you. Okay, Tom, thanks. Let's bring in John Carl to talk more about this right now. Rick Perry, one of the early candidates who went after Donald Trump, he paid the price. And these endorsements uh, for Ted, Ted Cruz may be exactly what he needs because he is uh, really feeling the momentum of Donald Trump right now. Especially in Iowa, George. Just a couple of weeks ago, it looked like Cruz was the front runner in Iowa. Now take a look at this new poll from Fox News. Donald Trump has a double-digit lead among Republicans in Iowa. George, if he can pull off a win in Iowa, it's hard to see where he loses because his lead in New Hampshire and the states that follow is considerably larger. And he is bearing down on Iowa right now. Let's talk about Mike Bloomberg right now, the billionaire, former mayor uh, of New York. Set his eye on the White House for a long time, says he's willing to spend a big chunk of his fortune if the conditions are right. Uh, he's talking about a billion dollars, George. Here's what it is. If he sees a situation where it looks like uh, Bernie Sanders will be the Democrat, Donald Trump or Ted Cruz would be the Republican, he believes this would be an historic opportunity for an independent candidate. And I'm told if it looks like that, he is likely to run more than 50-50 chance. And there's a lot of debate right now over who, which party that would help, which party would hurt. John yeah. Carl, thanks very much.